Hello everyone, um, it's Clemmie from Clemmie's Creations. I'm back with uh, one of two Jane Austen journals that I created from the mega list <laughs> that I showed in my previous um, video. Okay, so um, I had to break it up into four um, signatures and then I broke it up into two. So um, each journal has two signatures and um, I think this, I uh, can't even remember now, measures, um, let's see. Mm. Yeah, nine by, it's seven by nine and the spine is um, three and a half, which uh, apparently I should have done a four and a half inch spine because it's still kind of chunky, but it's all good. So, um, okay, on both journals, I've got a similar cover and um, the first two pages, um, no, the inside covers are um, pretty much the same, but other than that, they're um, different. So, um, on the cover, I've just got an image, Jane Austen image, I think from Paper Cottage Printies, I think, on Etsy. And it says, all I want in a man is someone who rides bravely, dances beautifully, sings with vigor, reads passionately, and whose taste agrees in every point with my own. That's a Jane Austen quote, of course. Um, on the spine, let me take this off. Um, I made a tassel. And it turned out really nice. Got some gold bling. It turned out really nice. Now put that to the side. Um, the journal cover was. Um, goodness, let's get this off of here. Okay, I don't know. Am I messing up here? Okay, um, uh, where was I at? Um, uh, the journal cover was inspired by um, Patricia Koenig. You know, she made that beautiful um, journal for me. Um, just some bling trim on there. Okay, so let's get into the inside of this. I'm trying to check to make sure I'm in frame, guys. I'm trying out um, the new tripod and this angle. Okay, so... All of that goodness. I'm gonna pop it open, and of course, lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, guys. So on the inside, and it's it's very chunky still. Like I said, I it really needed a four and a half inch spine. I'm gonna turn it this way to show you what I've done. Take a make sure I'm in camera. Okay, so um, I made two corset pockets, and I've taken the Tim Holtz um, whatever you call these, and I've spelled out Jane. And each pocket has a tag. That one is this one. This belongs to. And this is the story begins. Okay, turn it back around. I'm trying to make sure that I'm in frame. Okay, so it's <laughs> quite chunky, guys. Okay, um, this is um, Artie Mays' Jane Austen um, digital kit from that. But I've got um, others in here as well. So it's not just um, Artie Mays. I don't want to have to hold with one hand. Got a, uh, this is from Dreams, Etc. And I believe this, oh, goodness, I'm going to... I'm not even going to call these out. If you have a question about anything, just um, uh, put it in the comments below and I'll get back with you as to um, what each paper or something came from. And this is a um, coffee filter pocket. I just stuck some rosette trim over there. It opens up like that. You can put a journal on the inside of that. And I've just taken some excerpts from um, Pride and Prejudice and decoupage them onto the paper. And this is from um, Dreams Etc.'s um, new kit. And this is um, from Tsunami Rose.
I've taken a um a guest check and put one of um Nectar's creations. Her new kit is beautiful as well. Nectar Creations and um just done some stamping, added a charm and some lace. And this is from Seneca Pawn Crafts. I did try to add in a lot of um space for journaling initially before this got like crazy out of hand and um from the uh journal that i got i received from donna jameson she um had it wrapped in this gold and since there's gold throughout the journal i just added in here put some crochet lace and some of that gold trim on there to kind of give it you know hold it down and i've created a pocket out of um the dollies that i got from donna little this is um either already made or deli girls file folder that's just a um, little, I can't remember what those are. Um, I've got um, some, <laughs> some bling trim on some rosette trim here. And then I added the um, glossy accents over these roses. Let's check another tag that I've made. Old trim. I really like that trim. Little booklet. And some stamping on the layaway tag. A tsunami rose. And more, uh, another homemade tag. This is from Christy Art Designs. I just ran my uh, ribbon through the lace. I've taken and made um, a little booklet out of my doily. These mini file folders are from um, Tsunami Rose. And this is also a tuck spot behind. Okay, these tags are Tsunami Rose. And this is from Dreams Etc. Decoupaged another um, little excerpt from uh, Pride and Prejudice. Another pocket. This is already mazes. Etc. paper and these tags are from um, Tsunami Rose. You can move them up. If you take the um, ribbon off, you can move it all the way around and um, you know add some journaling behind. And they're the same on the back. Another uh, uh, excerpt or from uh, Pride and Prejudice. These tags are um, from the Photo Cube. My heart is and always will be yours. And then um, I'm getting better at my shaker tags. These are inspired by um, Yvonne White. I like the way that came out. We've got some dangles, some bling trim, paper bag, tsunami rose. This is from uh, Nectar's Creations. Look at that. Beautiful. Things there and a little butterfly, metal butterfly. Another tag I've made. More of that um, gold trim or gold lace. This is Rita Donnelly Flip. Just done some layering on there. got up um, the nerve to try this after um, Donna put one of these tags in mine. This was the first one and <laughs> it came out <laughs> wrong. Um, the trick is 
the way you think it's supposed to go, do it the opposite way. <laughs> um, okay, I've just added in, I've taken that gold lace and made a um, belly band. I was going to make a booklet out of this, but I knew I had stuff that. And there is nothing in this envelope, but I added it in because I love that. And I received that in my swap with um, Donna Jameson. I lied. I did put something in there. See? I lied. I don't even know what I'm doing half the time. I'll get to that later. And these are just some um, rose, big elements from um, Tsunami Rose. I've got... Um, love stamp and this little charm here says uh made with love this is one of my um envelope booklets i've not glued it down but if you want to you can glue that down and use it as a tuck spot behind but this was the first one i made actually and it's plain i've got it going on this side and these are all plain pages for um journaling that you can take out and write on because this book is <laughs> would be uncomfortable to write in. Um, I received I, I purchased a beautiful journal from um Laurie Girl on the Bridge, and she had this beautiful music paper in you know wrapped with it. So I take it took it and made um an envelope out of it, and it's the middle of my signature. And I've just got um I pulled this off of Pinterest, I think. I think it's um, a letter from Jane Austen to her sister. This is from uh, Tsunami Rose. And I took some of that same uh, paper and made a little frame to stick in to try and coordinate the two pages together. And um, I had some challenges when I split the um, journals, I mean, split the uh, signatures. So in the other signatures, there's um, this paper and these were the scraps. So I took the scraps and put a brad on them so you can do like that and just have some journaling space. And I just put some ribbon up on the top of them. I decoupaged um, this napkin. Um, onto this music paper and framed it with um, some ribbon that says love and cherish and it's, the definitions are there Just um, more tags These are um, From Artie Mays' kit I love that stamp you guys are gonna see that a lot This little images from dreams, etc. And I've started trying to um, decoupage, you know, do more stuff with the guest checks like everybody else does. The other side of the bag, got some more ephemera. And I've made a booklet out of Tsunami Roses. I think this is from her Charming Fragments. And it's mostly plain, except for that. Take this out first, okay? So I don't want to lie. I think that's everything for Nara. But like I said, if you guys have a question about anything that um, I have, just put in the uh, comments below, and I'll answer you. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. There's that stamp again. <laughs> and I've taken the Rita Donnelly flip and Yvonne White's um, ticket butterfly duo. And of course, you know, there's always a pocket behind, but there's a flip up, but I added a little pocket as well on the side of that. That's um, the photo cube. And this is Artie Mazes. These are the other side of Tsunami Rose, those tags. This is Dreams, etc. pocket I've stuffed and this is from um, Edith Holden um, it's a small book so I just folded it in half and tucked it in there this is Tsunami Rose okay. 
the town is with mine and more. Um, this is some pre a Prima paper pad. Um, because I've used the Tales of Us as well. Those are two nice paper pads. I don't know the name of this one. I'll have to look that up. Just more stamping. That is Dreams Etc. tag, I believe. Another tag. Um, I like the way that um, Laurie does her little um, buttons on the bullpen. I tried to add some of those in. There's the other side of the guest check. This is um, Artie Mazes and this is from Dreams Etc. to the tags and this is just from the tales of us just the leftover scraps I used to make a tag the same with the coffee filter that's the end of the first signature on to the second Marty Mazes tags I, I declare after all there is no enjoyment like reading how much sooner one tires of anything than of a book and I totally agree Tiffany and Company stamp. That is from um, Nectar's Creations. Gone again with um, this is um, Calico Collages Pink Grace Kit. Some stamps. Just a little, a little butterfly and says vintage. Another bowl pin with the um, doilies I got from Donna Little. Tuck spot. Took a belly band and made a, um, made a belly band out of tsunami roses. Um, I don't know if they're supposed to be belly bands or bookmarks, but same thing, I guess. And this is one of um, Dreams Etc. Uh, envelopes. You guys have to bear with me. Not really been feeling all that good, but I think that's kind of going around. No tags. Stamp in. Taken some ro the little rosette trim and added some uh, buttons onto it. And this little charm says Dreamer. This little tag. And this is everything for Nara. Okay, so I've decoupaged um, a napkin onto that. And I need to probably add something there. So I made a pocket. And those little um, domino... Jane Austen Domino images. I can't remember where I got those either. Sorry, guys. But like I said, if you ask me, um, I'll get back with you. Just add in a little time. And I, um, I was do playing around with um, some coffee, um, some of my coffee dyed water whatever <laughs> and um i was stamping some images on there and then it wasn't uh, dark enough so i added in a little bit of um distress ink alcohol ink to that and then did some stamping on there i've got a um layered lace pocket i like the way that turned out this is from dreams etc uh made 
might be country at heart. I'm not sure. Miss Clavius Tain. That's also from Dreams, etc. Okay. Some more stamping. This is another uh, Jane Austen quote. If I don't pocket, just add a little tag in there. That little charm says love. There's a saw tag behind. Oh, there's something in the pocket there as well. Okay, this was supposed to be an individual um, insert, but I went ahead and sold it into the signatures. But it's just a um, fabric covered pocket. Got some little tags. These are from um, Everything Fanara. This little paper clip says love. A little booklet. These turned out a little bit better, but still a little bit crooked. I also got this from Lori and um, Donna Jameson, the way they do that. This is Dreams, etc. This does, or will, come out, but it's sticking. Another tag. Quotes from um, Jane Austen. And I uh, fussy cut one of Dreams Etc.'s images and um, added in a little booklet. Made a belly band out of it. I mean, A little envelope is a, um, a heart envelope, the little paper clip. Okay, so um, on our little um, haul, Terry Wood and I got some. Um, this is uh, from Opera, so I haven't um, distressed any of the edges like I normally do because whoever buys this journal may want to use it in one of their journals and not everybody just stresses um, their stuff so I haven't included it in the signatures I've just paper clipped it on but this is um, synops synopsis of an opera and of course um, they went to lots of operas back in those days the same as here same thing And that one turned out really nice. Stuck that there. Almost to the end, guys. Just um, made a little slip pot pocket right there. More ephemera. And two pages of um, from Edith Holden's book. The first one was February and this one is March. 
because these are the months that we are in and coming into. Another one of um, Artie Mays' envelopes. And on the back, I have ended it with a large um, corset pocket that I have absolutely stuffed. When I mean stuffed, I mean stuffed. So there is more of the um, from that opera. That I'm leaving in the journal. I've made a large um, bow. Well, there's music paper, just a large booklet. And I forgot to add the little um, stamp here at the top. I have to do that. She, Terry Wood showed me how to add that in there to turn the page from plain to really nice, I think. And here is another one of my envelope booklets. A tuck spot. And this one goes this way. This one is also a pocket here. Yep, it's time to go. <laughs> okay, you guys, thanks for um, staying in and watching this. I know it's a pretty long video, but hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.